Okay, this is part two of our series of experiments. Um, what we have is, in this challenge, all armored cars are going to be uh, implemented here. So we've just dished them out. Um, the Soviets have two BA-6s. Um, and for lack of other armored cars, we're giving them a Daimler and uh, three American M8s. So uh, what this translates to in armament is 47 millimeter anti-tank gun, 14.7 uh, millimeter essentially heavy machine gun with a, a light machine gun, two thir uh, three 37 millimeter anti-tank guns, and another 47 on the BA. Over here, uh, we have the infamous uh, 222 uh, armored car of the Germans, 20 millimeter anti tank gun, 20 millimeter anti tank gun in the next one, and as a matter of fact, in the half track, small half track um, version, uh, we have another, as a matter of fact, 20 millimeter anti, well, we'll call it an anti tank gun, but it's really. Well, it's not a machine gun. It's a clip-fed, um, rapid-firing 20 millimeter. And then, uh, again, in the um, uh, 221s, we have light machine guns and uh, 20 millimeters. Um, this is essentially all early German war, early war German stuff with the 20 millimeters. Over here, perhaps out of camera view, I think, uh, barely in camera view. Here we have two Pumas with their infamous 50 millimeter anti-tank gun. Uh, clearly a very strong vehicle um, in this game. Um, equivalent to the 47 of the R Russians, but uh, actually somewhat superior. Um, notably superior, actually. So, it's going to be quick. And it'll be horrible, uh, so that's why we're doing it. Because we all know when uh, troops are, are, when vehicles are on the road, they move better. When they're off the road, and uh, when they are all wheeled, which is what these are, except for this one half track back here, uh, they have uh, potentials of getting stuck cross country. Uh, we're going to say that in this case, the terrain is moderate, uh, which is to say there's no rivers here. We don't have any designated marshes. There's no designated wet hexes. Uh, and it's a f somewhat open terrain. Uh, but leaving the road will cause a check if you leave it at anything but half your speed. And uh, going up a hill, the same. If you do it at your full speed, uh, you will cause a check for getting stuck. Uh, because it is, in fact, a very possible thing that could happen.